you own it, you're probably going to be watching it more than once. You're going to probably like, you know, you have to keep that in mind. Rent yeah, it. Own is like the best. Like it's, <laughs> yes. it's like Rings of Power season one collector's edition DVDs. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Okay. Got yeah. this. This needs to, we're going to do a lot of these on Dirty Film Girls channel. This is, yeah, this yeah. is going to be a thing. I can feel it. I can yeah, yeah, and and it. and rent would be like okay, like something I need to rent. Like every once in a while, I got to rent Starship Troopers to learn about politics, and then trash would be like Citizen <laughs> Kane or something. <laughs> I like it. I'm all, I'm Starship here. Troopers to learn about politics is absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to know more? <laughs> Read them. So now that you guys know, and, and everyone in the chat can play along too as we go. You can voice your opinion as well. Um, so we're gonna start with the first one. Since it's Tim Burton week because of uh, of Beetlejuice, um, we've got Ed Wood, Edward Scissorhands, and Mars Attacks. And I would love to know your opinion. Oh, Own, oh, rent, oh. or trash? Oh. They're hard <laughs> to Own Mars Attacks, clearly. Because yeah. uh, it's, it's Yeah, over. I would say that. Jim Brown. I mean, what else do you need? Uh, Ed Wood is a good movie, though. That's That's... Kind of tough. I would own Mars Attacks, rent Ed Wood, and and trash Edward Scissorhands. I hate to say I'm it like that. Scissorhands too. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, Franco Walker, thank you for joining us. Whoops, I picked the wrong one. But uh, okay, that's a that's fair. Yeah, that's, that's also fair. fair. <laughs> Franco Walker says I own all three of these on VHS. Oh, <laughs> that's that's amazing. awesome. Now, Franco, you've got a Mars Attacks video game coming out in case yeah. you didn't know. So prepare yourself. <laughs> oh man. Ed Wood is I did not expect you to bring that up. That is a that's a good one. I really that's like a good Ed one. Wood, yeah. Um, but I also like movies about making movies. And um I think yeah. Johnny Depp's amazing yeah. in that movie. So <laughs> compared to every all the uh, other yeah. films, yeah. Bill Murray. Bill Murray's in that movie too. Yes. Yeah. Um, cool. So I think we we've come to a conclusion on that. Let's go to the next slide. <laughs> Madam Web, the Marvels, and Ant Man oh, Quantum. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my! <go> <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm doing this true too. Like I'm going to say some things, but I do mean my order right <laughs> oh my here. Gosh. Without question, and I know this is not going to be a, a popular opinion. I would gladly, out of the three of these, own the Marvels. Gladly. I would rent Madam Web, and I will never in my life watch The Trash of Quantumania again. <laughs> that movie offends me deeply in my soul. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I would own Madam Web. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I, I would. And the only reason why I would own Madam Web would be for as bad as that movie is, I do like the cinematography in it. And and it's I think there's some good the way it's shot isn't actually bad. I, I think we we trash on Madam Web without it's shot pretty well. It just isn't good. I would I would also rent the marvels i have to trash quantum mania i can't yeah, because quantum mania should be good they really messed it up like the other two they are what they are but quantum mania it fumbled the whole era it fumbled phase five it's it's why all this other stuff's happening i mean that thing yeah oh man i not dirty folks i love getting this me to, to get to madam web <laughs> <laughs> that is hundred <laughs> for anyone also that just joined it is a game called own rent or trash and so you have to kind uh, of like the other game that we all know so <laughs> yeah this is this is incredible get me a marvel's t-shirt get me a poster but don't ever send that quantum mania stuff to my house yeah, I, I don't i did not i didn't like quantum mania uh I agree with you guys, actually. I really, I think I, I disliked Quantum Mania the most. And I think at least Madam Web, if you own it, it's kind of like one of the craziest things in cinema history to see a movie actually go to theaters in that condition. And I think it's kind of like a fun thing to throw on at a party, mm -hmm. you know? It, it is. Like, at least there's the humorous part of, like, if you had that as a collector's edition, people would think that's so funny. Like, they'd be you like, can watch what? it. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. You can watch it and trash it for comedy's sake. Quantum Mania is frustrating. 
And I think right. that's the thing that really makes you go like, I don't even want to put this on. Ah, man. Yeah, and Bagface, thanks Sweeney so much for joining. And Sweeney. He wrote the only <laughs> reason is is Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. I'll 20, watch anything 20. she's in, really. So I like yeah. I like all the women in it, to be fair. Yeah. They just got awful writing. Uh, yeah. like uh, I don't <laughs> dislike any of the actresses in it though. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I gotta get a Marvel shirt now and get my display copy collector's edition of Blu-ray. Yeah, pretty much. You got the bucket. Got the bucket anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Oh, all Nolan movies. Oh, <laughs> nerdy film girl. What are you doing? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. That's tough, man. I'm going. By the prestige, by the prestige, and I would probably rent Inception and I would have to trash Interstellar if I, I had to choose it. out of the three. I, I gotta go with Interstellar. I gotta go with Interstellar. I love the I love Inception, and which means which means I'd probably trash the prestige, and I don't like trashing the prestige because that's so good. I love Interstellar, man. Uh as a as a movie, and I know some people don't really like the uh I don't. I know some people don't like the ending aspect, but I think I, I like everything about Interstellar. I like the way he shoots it. I like all of the time delineation type aspects that they go in. I think some of the most impactful scenes out of anything that Nolan has ever shot are in Interstellar. I, I mean, we remember all the. Not that we don't remember scenes from the Prestige and Inception, but you remember all the scenes from Interstellar, like the those aren't waves, those are mountains, and the whole thing with like him taking off. And the cornfields, and that, ugh. yeah, I gotta, I gotta own it. I gotta own Interstellar, Rent, Inception, Trash to Prestige. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. It's tough, and <laughs> I really like one. these three films for Nolan because I think that like everyone kind of has a favorite of those, and I, I love like this era of his filmmaking. I think people gravitate Excellent. towards different ones in a different way, and they relate to them in different ways, and I, I, I that's why I think these are very interesting to find out. Ah, oh, I can't, I could not. <laughs> I can't believe I had the trash to prestige and I love <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is like Sophie's choice. Oh. Hunter says own there's prestige, a... trash, interstellar, and rent inception. So I think there's he chose kind of no me. wrong answer. Richard. Oh no, you owned yeah. Yeah, that's what you did. Cool. Yeah, prestige for me. Yeah. There's no yeah, wrong answer for these. this, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> none of these have wrong answers. <laughs> okay. I believe this is the final one of this game. Batman 89, Dark one. Knight, and the Batman. <laughs> Dark Knight. <laughs> I I gotta tell you, I have a friend that is a diehard Batman 89 is the best Batman. Like, like without question. And his resolve on it is so strong. Like, like it, it almost makes me want to be like, am I but it's gotta be Dark Knight. Like, like it's gotta be. Uh, there's it's gotta yeah. be Dark Knight. Now I I think the debate is: Do you rent Batman eighty nine or do you rent the Batman with Robert Pattinson? Eighty nine for me. I would rent Batman eighty nine. I I love the Batman. I trash the Batman though. I would too, and you know why? I would rewatch Batman eighty nine before I'd rewatch yeah. the Batman. Like the Batman was like great. I saw it, but I don't really want to rewatch it. Like it's kind of like I I like everybody in Batman eighty nine. Uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, Jack uh, Nicholson. Uh, ooh. Who was the lady who played Vicky? Vicky Vale. Uh, I forget her name, but she was she was gonna Billy D. Williams is Harvey Dent in yep. that. Oh yeah, oh, Billy I, D. I Williams, would... that actor that they really respect at Lucasfilm, that the actor <laughs> actress really respect. Oh wait, no, yeah, I, I <laughs> Batman eighty nine is incredible. Tim Burton, uh, yeah, I would I would trash the Batman as well. We've got um, people in here. Uh... Let's oh, see. Yeah. Uh, buy the Batman, rent the Dark Knight, trash eighty nine. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. I I would probably buy the Dark. Mm, yeah, just because yeah, of these comments, I'll buy the Dark Knight. <laughs> I'll rent the Batman, yeah. and I personally would trash Batman eighty nine. And I know that's like sacrilegious. Oh, people, well, so. and it's it's funny because you're a Tim Burton fan. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised you said that. You know, and I'm not, but like, you know, like it's weird how Batman's different uh, out of those three vibes there. I just love, I I honestly really love Robert Pattinson's The Batman right. a lot. So that's I fair. Think that's that's a lot. absolutely fair. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, Burton. See, Max would disagree though. Burton's is superior in creativity. Okay, so. right. But then, but then, the Batman is the best shot out of all of them. Right. And so that, that's a tough one too. That's a good one. It really is. Okay. But yeah, Joker, Heath Ledger. That's tough. That's yeah, tough yeah, to right. ever. You're, you're not beating that. No. <laughs> Own eighty nine. Rent dark trash. The Batman. We've got that's that's also fair, right? Like it's like that can be anything. Uh, I the problem with with this is the villains. You are gonna go to the villains because I like all the Batmans in this. So you're gonna now go to the villains. Now Jack Nicholson is like, man, great, right? But Heath Ledger, I don't know. He yeah. kind of did something with that performance where obviously you know won an Oscar post post uh, whatever they call it. But it's uh, that's tough. That's a good one. Yeah, I like doing ones that there's really no wrong answer, you know, because it would be yeah. so stupid if it were like Guardians of the Galaxy, Shazam, and you know what I mean? It's kind of right, sorry. right, right. Um, yes, post post mortem, post mortem, post mortem, post -mortem yeah, mortem, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Thank so you. I think that's that the end of that game. We have a oh, nope, sorry, there's one more. <laughs> oh, 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 now this one's interesting. Too. This is a good Disney one, movies. yes. Yikes. <laughs> oh, oh. This is like bag face left. said was Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> I'm gonna own the Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> obvious <laughs> reasons are obvious. Uh and then yeah. I would rent Goodfellas and I would trash casino. Wolf of Wall Street, I love, so I would own that, but I'm renting. Ooh, yeah. No, I think I'm the same. I'm renting Goodfellas and I'm trashing Casino. Goodfellas is a better Ray movie than Casino is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you guys. My, 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 it's so tough with Casino and Goodfellas to me because I feel like Casino has less of a rewatchability factor, but I feel like it's yeah. a lot more shocking and almost leaves more of an imp like. I feel like after I saw that, I was like, "Holy shit!" You know what I mean? Like, what if I? I absolutely agree with you. And yet, who has the most, the biggest one of popular culture, especially before Wolf of Wall Street ever came out, was Goodfellas. That was like one of the biggest popular culture movies. Goodfellas, Scarface, The Godfather were like, you knew that even if you never saw those movies, you knew of those movies. And you might have even known scenes from those movies because of the way people talked about them. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. It's tough. It's tough. I, I probably would still agree with you guys about renting Goodfellas, though, and then trashing Casino. But I, I, I go back and forth with which one I like more all the time. So um, we've got uh, uh, Rohit <laughs> Raju. Thanks so for much for joining us. Um, he's saying own Goodfellas, rent Casino, trash Wolf. Sorry. That's fair. Well, that's that's like that the. Too. It, it, like the mob that's like probably the mobster movie order like if you mm -hmm. were doing it straight from like a mob like that kind of feel i would agree with that too but margot robbie yeah <laughs> uh the wolf is a streamer for me so i guess that'd be rent yeah mm -hmm. um own casino rent goodfellas and trash wolf of wall street yeah so those are kind of those hit, franco and rohit are doing what you said i mean yeah problem. and it could be it, it could be a, a recency thing a generational thing a recency bias type of thing that absolutely could be goodfellas and casino are very much older school thriller gangster movies the wolf of wall street is more white collar type of crime white collar thriller and uh, man yeah that's fair these are good ones though these are absolutely good ones mm -hmm.